This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Folklore of the Santal Parganas, translated by Cecil Henry Bompas. LibriVox, Volume 1. 13. The Cowery and the Barber. There was a well to do man of the Cowery, cultivating caste and opposite his house lived a barber who was very poor and the barber thought that if he carried on his cultivation just as the cowrie did he might get better results so every day he made some pretext to visit the cowrie's house and hear what work he was going to do the next day and with the same object he would listen outside his house at night and he exactly imitated the cowrie he yoked his cattle and unyoked them. He plowed and sowed and transplanted just when the cowrie did. And the result was good. For that year he got a very fine crop. But he was not content with this and resolved to continue to copy the cowrie. The cowrie suspected what the barber was doing and did not like it, so he resolved to put the matter to the test and at the same time teach the barber to mind his own business. In January they both planted sugar cane, and one day, when the crop was half grown, the barber was sitting at the cowrie's house, and the cowrie gave orders to his servants to put the leveler over the crop the next day and break it down. This was only a pretense of the cowries, but the barber went away and the next day crushed his sugarcane crop with the leveler. The whole village laughed to see what he had done, but it turned out that each root of the barber's sugarcane sent up a number of shoots, and in the end he had a much heavier crop than the cowrie. Another day the cowrie announced that he was going to sow butt, pulse and therefore ordered his servants to bring out the seed and roast it well that it might germinate quickly and the barber hearing this went off and had his seed butt roasted and the next day he sowed it but only a very few seeds germinated and the crop of the cowrie which had not really been roasted sprouted finely the barber asked the cowrie why his crop had not come up well and the kauri told him that it must be because he had not roasted the seed enough the few seeds that had come up must have been those which had been roasted most but in the end the laugh was against the kauri for the few seeds of the barbers which germinated produced such fine plants that when he came to thresh them out he had more grain than the kauri and so in three or four years the barber became the richer man of the two. End of The Cowrie and the Barber